everybody, my name's Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is the Fugal Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is more of a personal update, so don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So it's been about four months since I did my video about how my whole world has changed and I'll leave a link below to that if you've not seen that. And funnily enough, that video which I found the hardest to make so far has had the most views on my channel, which is just typical, isn't it? However, it's been another four months since then and I thought I'd do an update on how I feel about things but also it's a bit of a challenge for me as well because I feel like this year has been so incredibly hard and unless I do something about it, like actively do something about it, I'm just going to end up kind of getting by like I have done. So the past kind of six, seven months have been about survival and I haven't posted a lot on here because I just haven't been in the right frame of mind to talk about stuff that I think people will find interesting or helpful or useful. To be fair, you might not find this interesting either, but this video is, is almost as much for me as it is for my channel, so I thought I'd share this with you. But I was at a fireworks display yesterday with my two children, and it's not something that we've ever really done before. And I was watching them watch the fireworks display, and I've kind of, we were stood in a freezing cold field, you know, I couldn't feel my feet, and in the dark and surrounded by lots of people but I, it was just, I was obviously focused on them and it was the three of us like it's been for quite a while now and I just kind of stood there and went, I need, something needs to change, I need to do something extra for these two because it's not only my world that's been changed upside down, their world has also and yes we're a much happier, relaxed, safe unit of three but it doesn't mean that their world hasn't changed either. So I was kind of stood yesterday. Isn't it always the case that you do something really random and then suddenly a thought will pop into mind and, and I'm like that and so I kind of thinking through lots of stuff again. So this video marks my official, I suppose, and this is much for me as much as anything else. I love your feedback and support through this. This is my getting my life back starting from now. Because although it's been quite a while, it still doesn't feel like it in some ways and things are still incredibly hard but I need to do something about it that moves me and my children forward from what we've been living with or living in or living through or whatever however you want to word that. So I've thought about this and you know when I got my children to bed last night I kind of sat and thought about it even more. I think there are three kind of main objectives for me to do with this about getting my life back. So the first one is to I need to be more mentally and maybe physically but definitely mentally more strong for what's about to happen in the next few weeks. So I need to work on that and that comes down to essentially taking care of myself so I've been so preoccupied with making sure that my children feel okay and feel safe and that they can talk to me that I have not been a priority and, I, and, and as a parent you're not are you however I also need to make sure that I'm looking after myself and that means eating better, going to bed earlier and trying to sleep even though I can't, doing things for me, taking time for me as well and I guess working through stuff. I've got lots of support from professionals but I need to do it for myself as well. So like I haven't really cooked many meals since this all happened because it just feels fairly pointless. So I've been surviving on really unhealthy habits including takeaways like fast food, freezer meals, lots of junk food just not taking care of myself in the way and also I know that when I eat like that and you know far too much caffeine and all that kind of stuff it doesn't help with the cycle of me feeling any better about life in general and kind of going to bed earlier getting a good night's sleep not that I sleep very well anymore all those kind of things I need to make sure that I'm putting into practice because I'm going to need to be the strongest I've ever been for the next I don't know how long it's going to take but for quite a while so that's the first thing is Getting back to what I used to enjoy, what used to bring me joy, so kind of cooking lovely meals, sitting at the table, enjoying that, making them, putting the stuff in the freezer so I've got them, all that kind of stuff that I used to really enjoy doing, I need to bring back. You know, I've got so many books on my Amazon wish list, and in fact loads of them on the bookshelf that I've not read because I've not had the kind of the mental space to sit and read a book, but I used to love reading. All that kind of stuff I need to bring back for me. So that's the first one. The second one is to make decisions around financial stuff. Now, obviously my situation changed and basically money is so tight now that it's it can't continue the way it is. And I 
over the past kind of week or so have admitted that to myself but this can't continue how it's going and I need to be proactive in making that change because this isn't sustainable any longer and I knew that would happen but doesn't mean it's an easy decision or the process will be easy but hopefully the other side of that will be good in the sense that it won't be another added stress that I, I don't need at the moment so I have been making decisions and talking to different people and I guess I'll share more once that's more concrete but I need to ensure that I can give my children the best life that they deserve and that includes financial side of things and obviously like I'm I'm I would say I'm pretty good at the financial side of things however I can't make money appear out of nowhere as you know no one can and I need to figure out how to get by and how to do things like that because we're not in a good place in that sense either so and then the third thing I think is I need to figure out what I want from all this side hustle stuff so I love my blog I started my blog so long ago I started it to help people with their money and I hope that I do that and then this YouTube channel I love filming videos normally I just haven't again felt the I just haven't been in the right frame of mind to do anything like that you know I want to start doing my investing workshops my like money mindset workshops I've got an idea for one in January I've got my budget planners on my Etsy stuff I've got so many different things I've got like VA work I've got copywriting work I need to figure out where I want this to go and how much time bearing in mind I have no time at all how much time I want or I'm able to maybe I should be like that to dedicate to all of this because at the moment I'm juggling so many plates and I'm so tired of having to juggle everything that as you've seen or if you know if you've watched my channel for a long time the videos are not as often as they used to be and it's purely because I'm having to deal with so much extra stuff in real life that I, I, I can't fit it in and by the time my children are in bed and it, you know it's finally time that I've got I'm so exhausted that I, I don't want to do anything at all but I need to figure that out because if I'm going to make the financial side of our life better in terms of not this isn't talking about investing this isn't talking about financial freedom or anything like that all of that is is so far from my mind right now this is all about day-to-day -day living and I would be lying if I said that it didn't worry me and I'd be lying if I said that I'm okay with all of this because I'm not but I don't really have a choice so that's my getting my life back plan I think and I love you know I've got a virtual coffee link down below and that's, some people recently have bought me those and left wonderful messages and even just messages on my YouTube channel over on Instagram people send the most wonderful messages and I couldn't ask for a more supportive community than the one I've got online Obviously I've got my real life support network but total strangers send me the most amazing messages. Somebody, I can't pronounce the name otherwise I'd say it, bought me more than one virtual coffee the other day and left me such a wonderful little message about how helpful she's found my channel and she, you know, she's followed me for a long time. All of that, especially at the moment, means so much so thank you for continuing to watch my channel and what I would say was please hold me accountable to this because I need... I need to do this for my future and I need to do this for my children's future and I need to figure out quite how that works but I need to do this. This is a challenge for me of getting my life back and it is simple as that because it's been a long time. So yeah, so that's my update for today. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you think that I can do anything else that will make this better or easier or whatever. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again very soon.